and uh, and we're doing number one. Read the fraction. So we're doing six two over three plus. Wait, no. say it. Six, six and two thirds. Yeah, six uh -huh. and two thirds plus five and two fifths. Okay, now. Why is it set up like this? Because we're going to uh, worry about that right now, so okay. we're adding Okay, that. go ahead. Okay, so. Okay, do you, do you put the 10 15s here? So then you would have to do 10 plus 6, which would equal 16. And then... Okay, so that's not, that's almost the answer. What's the what's the part that's missing? Uh, these two. Okay, so, so... then it's 11. And 16. That's the right answer. We can show it in a different form. It's 11 and 16 fifteenths. If it was just 16 fifteenths, what would you do? You would, um... Make it 1 and how many fifteenths? Oh, 1 and... Five. Well, what's 16 minus 15? Oh, so one. So it would be one and one fifteenth. Now add that one to this eleven. And you keep the one fifteenth? Yeah. So one. You just did it. Okay. What are you doing, Jace? I'm going to be adding number two. Okay. Read the problem, Max. Number two. Read the problem. Six, All right, so I, I don't know. Six and? Six and four-fifths plus six and five-tenths. Okay, so here we go. Can you add four-fifths and five-tenths? Let's do that. Yeah. All right, so. Why he knows five tenths is going to stay the same. Dude, dude, dude. We don't, this is the easy kind. It's not an OMG. It's the kind where you just keep the bigger one. Do you remember? You keep the ten. This turns into tenths. Okay, keep going. We could do it a different way. How could you do it? Oh, I need one. Uh, well, you got to multiply what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Okay, now you can add them. What do you I was got? thinking, like, since this is half, this is half right here, you could, like, just reduce it. Okay, 8 tenths plus 5 tenths is what? 13 tenths. Let's write down 13 tenths. Okay. okay, can you just write it here? I mean, that's usually where we're at. Okay. So there's the answer. Now add the whole numbers. All right, so six plus six. six okay, plus six. just put that right there. 12. 12. Okay, now make the 12 bigger because that's the whole number, okay? Oh, you're already stepping ahead. Okay, that is the same as this, though. These are equivalent. These are the same. How did we go from this to that? What'd you do, Max? You did something awesome. Um, so, since 13 is over 10, you take the 10 away from the 13. It subtracts the denominator. You subtract the 10 from the 13 and add that, um, add the 10 to write to the mixed number. So, like that. So, 12. 13, oh, 12, 12, 13, 13, 13 over 10, which doesn't make sense. You, you could just reduce, it, um, make it into a mixed number. Okay, Maya. The, we're going to learn, worry about this second, okay? You know how to do this. Just pay attention to the, the fractions. What's the common denominator going to be? It can't be 10. What's it going to be? Well, it can't be 3. Yes, so put equals 30. And we got to put the line because we have the denominator. How did you change that into 30? Because um, 10 times 3 is 30. Okay, so what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So we're going to do that. Times it by 3? Yep. Okay, now we got to do the same thing with this. We have to change this to 30th. Yep.
Now you can do it. What do you do with these two now? It's easy. Add them? Yep. And just put that right here. 26. Yeah, and then what do you do with these two? Add them? Yep. And it goes really big right there. You just did it. That was it. It's kind of easy, isn't it?